back again with another video. This is gonna be a, a story, re a Halloween um, story review of my life. And y'all leave in the description below if something happened to you that was scary on Halloween. That no hundred houses, or it could be hundred houses or whatever, like something that it could have end like you dying or being hurt. So I would like to hear people, uh, you know, stories. You know, I laugh a lot. I'm a funny guy. And I laugh at a lot of stuff. But anyway, you got to get into the story. So it was Halloween. So me and my friend, she was a girl. And uh, we decided to go back to her place. You know, so we took... Uh, a shortcut. It was a shortcut. Like, through an alley, had a walkway, and then, like, back streets. So, we walking, talking, laughing. You know, we was going back to her place. I, I wanted to walk her home because it was Halloween. You know, I ain't wanted to walk home alone. And so, we walking. And we happened to turn around. We, had, we hear these, these, these boys. It was loud, and they came in the alley. And we happened to look back, and they start selling some. They start yelling something like, "Hey, we about to hurt you" or something like that. So we had stopped, and I had turned around, and I had looked at about four of them, and she knew she was like, the, "I was like, I'm going to fight them because if we run, I know I'm gonna get away." But she was like really short, maybe like five, four foot something. She was really short. I'm like, there's no way you're going to escape these men. You know what I'm saying? There's no way you're going to uh, outrun them. And we knew in our head they was going to hurt me or kill me. And they was going to rape her and kill her. You know, it was going to end really bad. I felt it. I was scared. But I had to defend myself in her. Because I couldn't run. I wanted to run. But I'm like, I can't run and leave her behind. You know what I'm saying? So, and she, and I was like, I got a knife on me. I had a little switch blade on me. And she was like, you know, that's not going to help. Because they had, like, sticks. They had, like, some sharp objects in their hand. And I'm pretty sure they had some guns, too. And it was no way. <clears throat> so, by her being street smart... She like, I'm about to run to somebody's house and bang on the door and, and scream for help. In my head, I'm like, for real? When she said that, I'm like, man, this is really serious. Like, this is really, it's really about to happen. So when they start walking towards us, next thing I know, she book off. You know, she ran to the nearby house, banging on the door. You know, I'm right behind her. Like, I'm like. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking like a looking like a little girl, but I'm but I'm thinking at the same time, like I can't run without her. And I can't beat four dudes off. And like I'm I'm Bruce Lee or something. You know what I'm saying? Like I got like a gun or a stick or something like that. <coughs> and me, I got into a lot of fights in high school. A lot of fights and stuff like that. But I, you, uh, like, you got to be realistic sometimes. You can't be, like, five dudes off. You know what I'm saying? Unless you real good with, like, a sword or a stick or something. And I ain't had none of that on me. So she begging on the door. <coughs> the lady answered the door. She's like, what's going on? You know, what's happening? And she's like, man, these dudes, man, trying to hurt us, man. They trying to they trying to hurt us. I'm like, yes. I'm like, please, you know, they about to hurt us. And so she didn't want to unlock the door. She looking out her window. She seen the dude, the four dudes coming up on her yard. I'm like, oh, man, these dudes, man, about to. They don't care, man. They did not care. They didn't care who was out there. They wanted to do some, some, some damage, man. They wanted to hurt. They wanted to kill that day. You know, I want to end up like you see these stories on these internet these documentary reviews on people death dying and people can't find a killer and stuff. I ain't want to end up on that. So I'm standing on the push looking at it. I'm like, these dudes are not backing off. I'm like, that because they see one man. They're like, man, it's four of us. We get, we get knock, we get, we attack him first, knock him out. 
And at the same time, they probably thinking like he looking like he looking like a pussy, like straight up. He running. You know what I'm saying? They probably think I'm a girl. They probably probably think I can't fight. I'm a sissy. And um, so I'm looking at him coming on the yard. And, you know, also they see two women like, man, forget those women. It's four guys, four tall dudes. I mean, forget those women. So she ain't, she ain't unlock her door, nothing. She ain't open her door, nothing. She ain't let us in or nothing. Next thing I know, she called her husband. She like, hey, you know, these kids need help. Somebody trying to hurt them and stuff. So he come to the door with a gun. And he had the gun in his freaking hand like, if y'all don't get off my yard, I'm going to shoot. And they like literally a couple feet. Like, we, it's like a, we was on top of the stairs, like on the porch. And they was like on the bottom of the stair right here, like close. I'm like, these dudes ain't even backing off, even when this dude said he got a freaking gun. But at the same time, as we talking, as we talking to them and stuff like that, as he talking to them, most likely it's process in the hand, like, oh yeah, he can't shoot us because we on his property. And they thinking also we don't want to die either. So he come out with his gun. He like, man, we go on my property, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot. I'm like, these dudes don't get shot. You know what I'm saying? So all of a sudden, they just like backed off. They looked like they was pissed, they was mad, because they didn't. Uh, do what they came to wanted to do. They wanted, they wanted to have fun. They wanted to, you know, hurt somebody. And, you know, and they just ran off. You know, when he came outside with his gun, like coming down the porch, like I'm about to shoot. I'm like they just gonna die in front of his yard. And they, they must have had no guns either because they ain't put on no guns either. Cause they could have took as far as like we got guns too. What's up? We got AKs. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or 45 or something. <clears throat> so they ran. And so, like, uh, the dude decides to take us home. You know, I'm like, go ahead and take her home first and take me home. And so he took her home. And uh, he took me home. And ever since then, um, we never, like, went down that alleyway no more. But it happened on Halloween, and Halloween is the devil's day. Well, you know, killers come out, scary people come out. So you got to be mindful of that. Because <clears throat> when you see all these clowns and scary costumes, do nothing but demons in costumes, you know. People having fun and wanting to do evil. Even you can get hurt at a hundred houses, somebody taking it too far. You know what I'm saying? And, and my grace of Yahweh... That he allowed me to live that day. For me not to get hurt. You know. And die. I have to fight these guys off. I was probably going to lose. And for her to get hurt. But at the time. I didn't. I knew of. I knew of Yahweh. You know. I've been to church all my life. But I never had like an understanding of. Who he was in the scriptures. So I had no protection that day. But that day he protected me. And it's like I look I look now in my life I'm like I wonder why he protected me because for I can experience this and tell other people, you know, and spread the message. You know, so I have a purpose of being here. So I thank God, I, you know, that I'm still alive. I know some stories in your life that you thank God you still alive and you, you could have been dead or hurt or, you know. <clears throat> really matched up because a lot of people don't get those chances where they escape out of something deadly like that. They end up you know, dead or captivity or, you know, <coughs> girls being prostitutes, getting raped every single day as we speaking. And they don't have an opportunity to uh, to escape the devil's trap. You know, don't worry about, you know, why God don't do this and do this? At the end of the day, they're going to get answered for all the evil that they've done. It's going to be 10 times, a billion times much worse than what a judge can do. Because it's a scripture in the Bible. Y'all can look this up. It says, do not be afraid of those who can kill the body. And they can't do nothing else after the body is dead. But be afraid of him after the body has died. Has the power to cast the soul into hell. Be afraid of that guy. And that guy is Yahweh.
So don't be afraid of those who can kill your body, kill your flesh, cut you up, shoot you, torture you, hang you. Don't be afraid of that. Be afraid of the one when you die and your soul have to get have to get judged, which is Yahweh. And I knew that scripture. And when I read that, when I finally read that scripture after that day, I was heading on the right path. And I didn't even know it. So don't be afraid of the people that put a gun to your head, put a knife in your, on your throat, you know, say they're going to kill you and stuff like that. Don't be afraid of that. Because your life, your plan is to have everlasting life. Your plan is to go into heaven. Be afraid of God. Don't be afraid of these demons and men. And the only way you can have that power if you stay true to Yahweh and do his will. I mean, that's the best way I can put it. But that's the end of the video. I thank you guys for watching my videos. I appreciate it. And uh, share the video with your families and friends or somebody might need this. Until then, uh, see me next time.